Hi, this is Pastor Philip, and uh, welcome to our Tuesday devotional. And uh, this time, uh, while we are going through our, our Revive series, uh, we will be talking about the themes and the scriptures from the week before, um, Pastor David's sermon. And so Pastor David's sermon was on uh, Mark chapter 2, verses 1 through 12, and, uh, and the story of uh, the uh, forgiveness and the healing of the paralyzed man. And so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this. This is a famous, famous story. Uh, it's a story where these four friends or family members were, were never quite told who they are, but they are taking this man to Jesus. He's paralyzed. And he, um, uh, they get there and they can't get into the house where Jesus is because it's so packed. And so they take him up on the roof and they lower the man down through the roof um, so that he can be healed by Jesus. And this is what uh, is said about that. After they lowered the man uh, that was lying uh, on the mat down, in verse 5 it says, When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. This is a pretty profound and powerful statement, right? Uh, even before uh, God heals him of his physical ailments. He's healing him of his spiritual problem as well. But, uh, but the big thing here is that it is done because of the, um, the beauty of these four friends and their faith. Uh, Jesus literally points to them and says, the reason I'm forgiving him is because of you. And so the, my question here for us is, um, do we give of ourselves for others? Is the reason that others are finding their way to the restorative understanding of who Jesus is, is through uh, our perseverance. It's through what we can do in our, in our lives for others. How are you living your life, not just so that you can be saved, but so that others around you might experience the restoration that comes with Christ Jesus? And the second thing I want you to see from this is this. God doesn't just restore and heal uh, the man's physical problems. He restores and heals all of him. And I think that's important for us to realize. That, that, we, uh, that Jesus is giving us more than just restoring maybe some kind of soul spiritual issue. Jesus is restoring all of us. Uh, and, and maybe it might not be uh, our physical ailments here on this uh, world that we are living in right now, but we are in the process of being completely restored uh, by God. And so we should be in the completely restoring business. How are we uh, being a part of the change in this world? How are we being a part of the restorative process of uh, seeing others changed and transformed? Uh, how are we pointing people uh, to Jesus and how are we seeing them being restored? I hope that these thoughts uh, work on you this week as we begin, uh, as we uh, continue to understand the idea of presence, presence with others, presence in worship presence in uh, our lives uh, with Christ. And so thank you so much for joining us today.